what is going on to my slice and dice gang man peace and blessings to everybody watching it's your boy cardo back at it again with another video and since i'm back go ahead and pound that like button subscribe to me if you ain't subscribed yet and follow me on my socials i got the links in the description your boy will highly appreciate that now slice and dice gang it's been a couple days I ain't uploaded in a couple days your boy been slacking a little bit now i know i told y'all i like to upload every single day you know what i'm saying so for me to miss two days that's on me that's my bad you know what i'm saying but y'all got to remember we not perfect you know what i'm saying it's okay to take a little break you just don't want to get too comfortable all right we can't get too comfortable out here that's what Satan want us to do you feel me but we not perfect all right it's okay to rest sometimes now before i get started let me tell y'all to grab some real quick because you know we got to grab it every video if y'all don't grab them swords out every video what we do we slice and dice with descriptions we always going back to god's truth facts big facts i got to uh do something else too y'all gonna have to do this with me we all got to do this we should all do this every day help me out let's thank the most high our almighty heavenly father for allowing us to be here today yes sir indeed as y'all sharpening y'all swords up y'all already know what i got to do for the people who just now tuning in to cardo tv it's a possibility. They just now tuning in to the channel. So I got to let them know what they tuning in to. I got to give them a heads up right quick. Y'all sharpen y'all swords up. For the newcomers, if you subscribe to Cardo TV, I hope you are ready to slice and dice with us. We in these scriptures, big time. We in the words. You got to be ready to receive this word. You know what you also got to be ready for? You got to be ready to serve our one true father that we got. The father of Abraham the father of Isaac, and the father of Jacob, the father of Israel, the father of the Messiah, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. If you subscribe to Cardo TV, you ready to grow spiritually. You ready to repent, turn away from your sin. You ready to use your gifts and talents that God gave you, serving other people, out of love, making this world a better place. You know what I'm saying? You ready to be a light in the darkness. You feel me? If you do, Go ahead and subscribe. Enjoy Slice and Dice Gang. Welcome, 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 welcome. Now today. Oh, my bad. I hit it too hard. Let's get back on track. <laughs> now today, everybody, we talking about going the extra mile. Challenging ourselves. Doing extra so that we can continue to keep our faith strong. So that we can continue to stay on this narrow path Growing spiritually Obeying our Heavenly Father We need to go the extra mile Extra credit You feel me? It's things that we can do that much more We don't need to be lacking We don't need to be slacking in these days We got to continue to do everything in our power Making sure that we are allowing God's will to be done By doing our part So we're going to talk about it today Going the extra mile, all right? Turning up that much more. Let's dive on in, Slice and Dice Gang. I say let's dive on in. Number one, engaging in not only prayer, but also fasting regularly. It allows us to draw closer to God and seek his guidance and strength in our lives. Let's talk about prayer real quick. Now, when it comes to prayer, talking to our Heavenly Father, Y'all got to know, y'all should know that we need to be doing that every single day, first and foremost. We got to be tapping in. Of course, as soon as we wake up, we should be tapping in, getting our day started. We got to start our day off right talking to the Heavenly Father. That way we got everything we need to get through the day. Now, I'm going to keep on telling y'all this. I'm going to keep on expressing this. When y'all talking to the Heavenly Father, take your time. Be specific. Ask for everything that comes to mind and not only think about yourself, think about other people too. Because it's not just about us. Other people are in need. Some people are not praying. But just for your prayer, it could do that for them. You know what I'm saying? Because what? 
what, what does prayer do? Put it in the comments for me. Yes, sir, indeed. Prayer works. You better believe it works. Now, when it comes to prayer, talking to him every single day, taking your time with it, making sure that you ask everything that comes to mind, be specific. Come on, y'all. Ask for a few things right now since we're talking about it. Just do it right now. I'll give you some time. Be specific. Let me throw a few things out there just to give you an example. Be specific. Ask for the strength that, that, that God can give you today. Ask for discernment so your discernment can be on 10 today. Ask for joy. Ask for peace. Ask for self-control today. Ask for God to keep you away from all temptations. Yes. Ask for the protection that you need today. Everything. You feel me? Take your time. When you're talking to the Heavenly Father, also thank you, Holy Spirit. I'm going to keep expressing this too. If you have not got your journals yet, what are you waiting on? I keep trying to tell y'all we're here different when you're writing these things down. Because when you're writing it down, you ain't got no choice for real but to take your time. And not only that, you can go back to it. You know what I'm saying? You may want to finish a conversation that you was having with your Heavenly Father. It may be some things you need to add on. You can go back to it. It may be some things that you need to change, your routine. Change your routine throughout the day. Stop doing the same thing every single day. Talk to the Heavenly Father. He's creative. He is very creative. You feel me? And his imagination is insane. Look at the world. It's all him. So just tap into him so he can get some of that creativity he got and rub it off on you. That way now you can have more creativity on what you can do throughout the day using your gifts and talents serving other people. Y'all feeling me on this? I sure hope so. Now, when we're talking about going the extra mile, right? Going that extra mile. Have you ever fasted before? If not, come on. Ask the Heavenly Father to give you the strength to fast. Just get, just, um, get that experience on what fasting is if you've never done it before. You most, I got to tell y'all, when you fast, you're doing it for specific reasons. You're doing it for the Heavenly Father. You know what I mean? You're trying to grow closer to Him. You're trying to grow spiritually. Because when you're fasting, there's going to be a lot of things that you're going to be tempted with. You know what I'm saying? Because you're hungry. You start to get a little weak or whatever. But it's just like, that's why you got to depend on the Father. So you can keep that strength. And so that you can resist all the temptation that may be coming your way on this fast it's very spiritual but it's nothing to be afraid of at the end of the day god got you he with you every step of the way bars and you're going to be able to complete it if you depend on him as much as possible i can do it y'all can do it you feel me we in this together let's slice and dice slice and dice gang i think it's that time are they out they should be Matthew 6, verses 16 through 18, hear me out. When you fast, do not look somber as the hypocrites do, for they disfigure their faces to show others they are fasting. Truly, I tell you, they have received their reward. But when you fast, put on your head and wash your face so that it will not be obvious to others that you are fasting, but only to your father who is unseen. And your father who sees what is done in secret, will reward you you hear that in the scripture he said he'll reward you when he sees what is done in secret but do not do it for a reward do it because you truly want to grow spiritually you truly want to grow closer to the heavenly father do it for the right reasons because at the end of the day our heavenly father he knows all which means he knows your heart he knows your intentions you feel me he's not going to reward those who are doing things just to get rewarded because he, he know your mind and your heart ain't right because you're trying to get something. You feel me? The only thing you should be trying to get is a better relationship with God. Come on. Better strength in faith. All of those great things. You hear me? I sure hope so. Put it in the comments right now. I want to grow in my relationship with the Heavenly Father. You should. And try to fast. Watch what it does for you. Okay? Let's continue, y'all. Going the extra mile. Yes, sir. Studying the Bible daily and meditating on God's word helps us deepen our understanding of his teachings and reinforces our faith. The more we understand his teachings, the more we will be able to obey him. The more we will be able to move accordingly. 
to his plan. You know what I'm saying? The more we understand his teachings, the better we will be able to love, the better we will be able to speak, think, all of these good things for our journey. But how are you going to be able to understand his teachings if you're not going the extra mile trying to learn them? You feel me? So when it talks about the word, when we're talking about the word, you got to understand that you got to really understand what you're reading. Do not read the word just to say that you read the word. What is that? Come on, y'all. We want to be able to. We want to eat. We got to be able to eat this bread daily. And you can. You have the option to. It's up to you to do it. Go the extra mile. Get yourself some Bible plans. Do you have a Bible plan? Thank you, Holy Spirit. How are you reading the word? Get yourself some structure. And write it down so you can keep track on where you at. That's really taking it serious. Go the extra mile. What else can you do? Download some uh, Bible apps on your phone. I got a plenty of a Bible apps on my phone. I get notifications sent to me throughout the day. Notifications such as Bible verses. Such as videos. You know what I'm saying? Sermons. People who are allowing the Holy Spirit to be used. Giving their testimony. Sharing the Gospels. You feel me? Go the extra mile. What else can you do when it comes to meditating in this word? What else I do? Oh, yeah, I look up context. After I read a certain scripture, I go the extra mile. They got a lot of sources online that goes deeper into scripture. So you can get a deeper understanding of what the Father is trying to tell us. But it's like, it's just, it can be so unique for you, though. You know what I'm saying? Because we all got different lives. You know what I mean? We all can receive something different from the word because we different people. God made it like that for a reason. You know what I'm saying? He gave you gifts and talents. He gave you a plan just for you that can't nobody else do. Think about that for a second. Just for you. Out of all of these people in this world, he did something specifically for you. What? And you're not going the extra mile for that? You're not going the extra mile trying to meditate in the word, understanding the blueprint that he has for your life? God knows you better than anybody else, and he has blessings for you after this. But you got to be obedient, and you got to put forth the effort to try to understand what he wants you to do. Understand how he wants you to live. You feel me? But you're not going to be able to do that until you're transformed up here. You got to be transformed by the renewing of your mind, and you're going to do that by going the extra mile, really meditating and understanding those teachings, understanding that word, understanding the Heavenly Father overall and that's talking to him praying to him right come on y'all how much how much are we doing this every day how much like i said before in the beginning of this video we're not perfect and sometimes we want to uh, rest we want to relax but still that does not give an excuse in the sense of at least every day putting that work in getting to know him that much more and reading that word you feel me so it's just like Go the extra mile on trying to figure out what your gifts and talents are so that you can use them with the Holy Spirit being used and overflowing. That's that, that that's when his will is being done for you, most definitely. When you're being obedient, using your gifts and talents because he gave it to you for a reason, and then understanding how to do so in the midst of being in this word, meditating on it, so that you can do it with the right spirit. Not, 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 that, not that spirit of fear which Satan likes to put in people. Not that spirit of confusion which, say, which Satan likes to put in people. I'm talking about doing it boldly with courage and understanding that no matter what is going on in your life, God got your back. You hear me? I sure hope so. Slice and dice, gang. They out. I know they are. Let's get to it. Joshua 1 verse 8. Keep this book of the law always on your lips. Meditate on it day and night so that you may be careful to do everything written in it. Then you will be prosperous and successful. Because I just want to be, I just want to be successful. Ah, ah, ah. Y'all hear me? Put it in the comments. I just want to be prosperous and successful. You should. And you will be. If you be obedient doing these things. All right, now let's continue. Yes, sir. We're going the extra mile. We got to, y'all. We got to do it. 
Serving in ministry allows us to actively use our gifts and talents to contribute to the work of God's kingdom and make a positive impact on the lives of others. So when we're talking about going that extra mile, using your gifts and talents, do you find yourself using your gifts and talents at least once a day? We can do it every single day, y'all. It's every day that we can put our gifts and talents to use. There's really no excuse. I'm gonna be honest with you. All you got to do is just ask the Heavenly Father what he wants you to do with them. Bring everything to the kingdom first so that he can establish your plans. And then you can go ahead and live them out boldly with an understanding and clarification with that positive energy because you just talked to the Heavenly Father about it. You know what I'm saying? Come on, y'all. Go the extra mile. Write some things down. Write down some goals for the day. Short-term goals and long-term goals. We've got to have structure. Do y'all have a mission statement? Write a mission statement down today if you don't have a mission statement. Some of y'all probably asking, Ricardo, what is a mission statement? A mission statement is a clear statement on what you want to fulfill. Like your big mission, your big purpose. What are you trying to contribute to the world what are you trying to do who are you what is your mission here on this earth if you don't if you don't know that you, you got to go back to the drawing board but that's okay just go back talk to the heavenly father so that he can tell you these things we got to try harder y'all so we can understand what we need to do in these days so we're not wasting time because even though god is a patient god most definitely is a patient god that does not mean we take that for granted you know what I'm saying? We should not take his patience for granted because the more we continue to do that, now we are, believe it or not, we allowing some people to fall short out here. We got responsibilities, y'all. That's why he wants us to get to know our true selves and, and tap into our gifts and talents that he gave us so that we can bring more people to the kingdom. Yes, sir, indeed. There's plenty of ways to bring people to the kingdom based off of your gifts and talents. There's a lot of them out there. Some of y'all have the gifts and talents of teaching. Some of y'all can sing. You got to understand, if somebody sing a song right, allowing that Holy Spirit to be used in that song, it can bring people to the kingdom, believe it or not. The other video, I was talking about tears of joy. If y'all ain't listened to that song, I advise y'all to look that up. When I was listening to that song, I broke down in tears. Songs can do that. If that right person singing it, Allowing that Holy Spirit to be used, woo, we can bring somebody to Christ. You better believe it can. Just the right song. Just somebody, you, <coughs> excuse me, using their gifts and talents to sing. What's some other things out there? You got uh, prophesying, man. Just helping people. Um, Some of people, some of y'all know how to draw. Creativity. That's another gift. You cre Use your creative abilities. Come on now, man. It's a lot of things that we can do every single day, and we should be putting that work in every single day. Go the extra mile, write these things down, and then ask the Heavenly Father to give you the wisdom, the discernment, the strength, the guidance to be able to push through. Because when you are trying to live out your true purpose using your gifts and talents, Satan going to try to throw everything your way to get you to go backwards. He's going to try to get, he going to try to throw everything your way to get you to just stop completely because he knows that God has a plan for you. He knows he gave you all these gifts and talents. He don't want you going that extra mile. He wants you to be lazy, stagnant, not putting no type of work in. You feel me? But God, he don't like that. He don't like lazy people. Faith is dead without works. All right, put that in the comments. Faith is dead without works. So y'all, let's go. Let, 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 let's act like let's act like it and go the extra mile. All right. I got one more for us. I got one more for us. But before I read the next one, get them swords out. Mm hmm. First Peter four, verse 10. Each of you should use whatever gift you have received to serve others as faithful stewards of God's grace in its various forms. And that word grace so much grace that he has for us all. Got us through so many things, even when we were being disobedient. 
we should not take that for granted because we still here. He got us through. He gave us everything we needed to push through. So since he did, let's do our part now. Let's go that extra mile, showing him and letting him know how thankful we are, how grateful we are for all the things that he has done for us, all right? Let's continue, y'all, one more. Sharing the gospel boldly and intentionally as a commandment from Jesus himself and by spreading the message of God's love and salvation, we are fulfilling our duty as disciples of Christ. Go the extra mile. Do not be afraid to share these gospels. If you are around certain people and you feel like that the spirit is telling you to say something or do something because of what the people around you are doing, you have to do it, y'all. Just do it, regardless of the backlash, because you're doing it out of love. You're doing it out of love. And we got to understand we're supposed to be more and more like Jesus Christ every single day. And we got to remember and understand that when he was doing these things, yes, he received a lot of hate. He received a lot of backlash, but that didn't stop him. And that can't stop us either. You feel me? Because when we start to go back, when we start to be afraid and not share this gospel boldly, now we're saying that we are, we are afraid of the consequences. You got to remember, we ain't got that spirit of fear. That's Satan in your head again. That's Satan in your head telling you, yeah, if you share that gospel, this person over here, he going to insult you. Or this person over here, he going to leave you. And he gonna be by, and you're going to be by yourself. Whatever. You're planting these seeds. You're planting these seeds. Now, let me give y'all a couple of examples real quick. Um, everywhere, Every time I'm hanging with either, you know what I'm saying, some friends of mine, family of mine, I try to talk about God at least once. I try my best to throw God in a conversation at least one time. You feel me? Now, I'm not the, I'm not the religious type. No, I'm not that religious type. I'm not super religious. I like to have fun too. You feel me? But... I still want that Holy Spirit to be used within me everywhere I go. I still want that presence of God everywhere I go because that's allowing me to get people opportunities to just hear, hear God, just hear this, just hear his name. You know what I'm saying? Because you never know after just having a certain conversation that was needed in that moment, you never know what that could do for somebody. That could bring somebody to praying that day. That could bring somebody to hopping into the word. Slicing and dicing with descriptions that day Just because you gave him that encouragement That inspiration by that conversation you had Allowing the Holy Spirit to be used, right? You see what I'm saying? Like If you riding with me in my car You know what I'm saying? Some people are not really used to the type of music that I listen to But if you in my car You better believe you're going to be listening and, and, and I don't even listen to the uh, Super religious Type music Like when I listen to gospel music It's the hip hop type it's the type of gospel music that you, you can turn up to still. You know what I'm saying? I, I still like to have fun. But it's like you're going to hear about God. You know what I'm saying? You're going to hear about this faith if you ride in my car. Whether you like it or not, I want the right frequencies around me. Y'all should too. We got to protect these ear gates. You hear what I'm saying when I'm talking about going the extra mile? Don't worry about what other people are thinking when you're doing these things. If some people are not, not used to that type of music you're listening to, it is what it is. They in your car. You hearing about God today is what it is. Need more music like it out here because the music that they putting out today is leading our young folks astray. They only talking about drugs, sex, money, all the things of the world to keep people just in sin. You know what I'm saying? It's a whole agenda, y'all. It's a whole agenda. So I'm going to try to spread as much gospel. If it's not through the music, if it's not just through me talking, any kind of way. Clothes, everything. Come on, y'all. Even It comes down to even the clothes we wear, y'all. Going that extra mile. What type of clothing are you wearing? Very soon. Very soon. You best believe I'm coming out with a clothing line. Oh, yeah, Slice and Dice Gang. We turning up. You better believe it's coming. Any type of way that we can spread these gospels. You never know who might see a shirt and you got a scripture on there. You never know how that can hit somebody or just a word of encouragement on your clothing. You see what I'm saying, y'all, when I'm talking about going the extra mile? It's just things that we can do, more things that we can do that can bring people to the kingdom because that's the goal. You feel me? 
put it in the comments right now. I will continue to do more to bring people to the kingdom. I will continue to tap into my gifts and talents that much more to bring people to the kingdom. Talk your talk, folks. Talk your talk. Speak into existence. Speak these positive things out loud. Speak positive things overall out loud every day. Watch how you feel and watch how the energy comes back to you because y'all got to remember the type of energy you bring out, that's what's coming back to you. You better believe it. You better believe it. So it's just like, come on, y'all. Let's go the extra mile for our Heavenly Father, for he deserves it. Everything he's been doing in our lives, come on, y'all. He deserves it. Put it in the comments right now. God deserves me to go the extra mile. You better believe he does. You better believe he does. Slice and dice game. It's that time. I know they out. I ain't even got to tell y'all. Let's get to it. Mark 16, verse 15. He said to them, go into all the world and preach the gospel to all creation. And there's plenty of ways to do it, y'all. So we really ain't got no excuse. Just tell God that you want to do it and you're serious about it and ask him to show you the best way for you to do it in your journey. For we are all different. You feeling me? I sure hope so. Slice and dice, gang. Thank y'all. For staying this long. If you the one that stayed this long. You were the real one. I appreciate that. I love you for that. Yes sir indeed. Y'all was slicing and dicing with your boy as well. Y'all know how we get down. Slice and dice gang. Thank you. Thank you. Now before I go. There's just a few more things that I got to leave y'all with. Because I do this every trip. And it's only right. Can y'all listen to me real fast. Listen to me please. I'ma need y'all to have it nice. Oh yes. I'ma need y'all to have a blessed. Did you ask for your blessings today yet? If you didn't do it right now, be specific. Ask for every piece that God has for you today. God wants you to receive them. I do. No cap I do. It's only right that you should. You feel me? And I'ma need y'all to have a beautiful day. Peace out. God bless. And everybody, let's continue to go that extra mile for Christ. Bringing people to the kingdom. Yes, sir.